You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. You know why? You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. Oh, God, God. God, God, God. Taking no breaks. Yeah. Gotta do what it takes. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. God, God, God. What is good, y'all? Um, remember I told you guys my wagon had a little bit of a problem. So, um, yeah. Now it came time to fix it. Um, my wagon has been down for like a couple of days. Well, since like Christmas Eve, really. Because that's when I kind of got the part in. But, um, right now, I had a valve cover leak. So, um... I started it, I didn't really record too, too much because, you know, I just wanted to get most of the work done, but um, I just wanted to give an update and why not, you know, at least make a video on this. Yes, I put a blanket just because the engine is open a little bit. I didn't want water to get into it. Now, as we can see here, my camshafts are out, my fuel rail is gone, my fuel pump is gone. And um, pretty much this thing is starting to be taken apart. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing is removing or well, replacing my valve cover gaskets. Whoa, that just... What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. Now I see why that is wet. But um, so yeah, <laughs> besides that discarded fuel like that, um, I'm gonna put a napkin or something around that to stop that from happening. But um, I have new coil packs, new spark plugs, new filters, everything. We're just gonna go ahead and do the full maintenance on this thing while I'm gonna be here working on this thing. Um, I'm not gonna be recording everything. I just wanted to document that for you guys because it gets pretty dark out here now. So um, yeah, so this is what your boy's working on. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this. I just came back from Harbor Freight, picked up some tools and stuff, just so I can reach behind there and take apart something so that I can pull this valve cover up. So I'm gonna get back to it. Just wanna give you guys the update. All right, boys, good news. It's starting to get dark, but um, I was able to get that vacuum. What is it, vacuum pump? I think, I think that's what it's called. I'm sorry, I can't think of it right now, but. What I was having trouble with in the back wall, I wasn't really having trouble with it. I just needed the right tools, but it was Christmas, everywhere was closed. Um, I'm literally getting ready to take off this valve cover. Oh. Okay, I did not mean to do that. But um, <laughs> I'm literally getting ready to take off this valve cover. Um, I pretty much loosened every single bolt, I hope. I think I got like, what? I think these two right there, and then I'm good. I'm just, like I said, documenting it little by little um we're getting there um and we should be good i believe that's the only bolt if i'm not mistaken that i have let's see if this flashlight can show i believe that is the only valve cover bolt that i have left everything else should be good for the meanwhile so yeah I'm gonna get back to taking this off. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this job tonight. It might go into tomorrow because one, it's getting a little cold out. It was a nice day today, but tomorrow will also be nice too. So yeah, I could do it and then, no, I'll see, I'll try. Um, I definitely might not finish it tonight, but I could try to get a good portion of it done and get this bad boy back on the road tomorrow. Alright boys, I have to do this really quick because it might start to rain. I didn't expect it to rain so early, but it is. But um, the valve cover is off. I gotta swap out these gaskets, but I'm, let's go take a look at the car real quick. Alright, this is quick thinking because I can't find the tent anywhere. But um, valve cover is off. Uh, my leak was like more towards the... I don't know if you can see that back there, but I think it was more towards the back area. Um, other than that, it was seems pretty fine. I don't know why there was so much oil. I don't know why there was much of oil to begin with, but like you can literally see 
where yeah back there so yeah that's where your boy was looking a little towards the back so um glad that the valve cover is off but now comes the meticulous part is putting everything back together and i'm um, just making sure that we get this thing back on and torqued right now this is one of the craziest jobs i've done so far so proud of me but um yeah let me go do this really quick all right boys um it's been about a week well really two weeks since my wagon been down but it's been about a week since i was recording taking care of my wagon and, um the new valve cover is finally in um i went on aluminum uh i spent like two 220 on it i paid for extra like fast shipping so kind of rounds up to like 300 but um i'm kind of in a rush to get my wagon back on the road because we are getting a snowstorm in boston over here so what i'm trying to do is your boy's been working night shift now so but i also have also work in the day too so it's been kind of rough but it's all good um i have to go to work a little later today but i'm gonna try to bang at least most of this out so i can at least tackle the little stuff tomorrow so yep this is the aluminum valve cover we're gonna be swapping that plastic i don't want no more headaches with the plastic one i just want to solve it one time so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and take care of all right boys like i told you um starting to get dark quick and i work at night now so i got this aluminum valve cover in place where it needs to be it just needs to be obviously you know torqued down and the bolts go in but um to be honest i'm loving the polished look over the cheap plastic black <laughs> um, but hopefully the aluminum it solves all my problems no more leaks should really occur like that and um, this is from 1a auto and um, it came with all the gaskets even though I had already bought a gasket kit I didn't swap out any of the gaskets I just left them as it is and um, there is lifetime warranty on this so that's why I was kind of the same price for black cheap plastic versus aluminum I went with the aluminum slightly better upgrade I'm gonna leave it unpainted I like the silver a lot but um yeah so seems like everything lines up um, I really I don't see no issues going on with this um i still have to change out my spark plugs though i got some ngk spark plugs obviously all my filters are getting changed out and then obviously once this car is running again i'm gonna give it a fresh new oil change um that's all no issues um i'm probably gonna call it here for a day and just upload this video and then just to because i haven't uploaded in like a week or two so i just want to have some content at least there showing you guys that i'm at least working on some shit <laughs> but um yeah so probably tomorrow i work early morning but um i can probably start to work on this like before i head to work but um by the time i get out of work it'll be dark out and i'll be trying to piece this all together before the snowstorm just to at least get my all-wheel drive back on the road as rather than driving the supra um but um yeah so like i told you guys everything lines up um if you're a bmw guy and you're looking to solve your valve cover issues and you want to go with aluminum i have not seen any problems as of yet um everything like i told you looks like it lines up perfectly um all we have to do is just test it and drive it and see if anything occurs but that won't be for a little bit um here's how you see it the next time you might see my engine it might be fully back together <laughs> so it's gonna be hard recording the last few moments but um like i said it's about to get dark out i'm about to just go ahead and put in the new screws so this came with new bolts and everything so i'm not going to be reusing the one that was on the black valve cover so um what i'm going to be doing is i'm gonna just putting in hand tightening everything all around and just leaving it like that until tomorrow but um as for now part one of this video is going to go up and um stay tuned for part two